Alrighty then, we are back. There is no need for us to go for the full 10 minutes break. Just grab a drink. Our new buddy is ready. He's done looting. Anything of any significance? So it's time to do the next test. Right, and the objective here is to see just how many monsters are in a map like this. Um, this isn't even the best map, I think. I think the promenade is going to be better. But with all the things we use on our tree, it's it's going to be a nice one. A couple of things, again, to check. Always double check, because it's an expensive joke to make a mistake like that. And I think we also should check if Elva... That's what you get when you build a new hideout. Oh boy, we lost Elva. She back. History so repeats let's itself. see, uh, view temple. Six incursions remaining. That means we're all good. Good to go. Now this will be a bit more extreme. But I also think that, that this might help us. Because it's a little bit of a linear map. We can create a situation where we drag out piles of loot over a longer distance. And I think that might help the game not crash. Or that's just wishful thinking and I'm gonna get boned here. Let's see. Exile. This time I'm going to go for a Maven. Beyond. Elva. Last check. And we are good to go. Alright, let's see. Strand. Used to be one of my favorite maps way back in the day. And that is a horrible last reward, at least for me. But, yeah. Could still be a good map, let's see what happens. So, we turn off Kanit. We turn off the loot immediately, and this time we are trying to get through the masses. Because I actually want to show you guys that killing slower is the way to go, yeah. Now I wait, like literally wait. And then I kill. So what are we looking at? Flammability 21, Infernal Cry, Lightning Trap 21. Nothing special so far. Okay, so again, I'm making the mistake of killing anything that I see, and I shouldn't. I really should create a situation where anything and everything has the chance to spawn. And only then I must have time do we start spamming. In salvos. So now you can see that beyond popping off. See what I mean? Oh, it's on now. Oh, it's on now. Now you gotta find that balance where you don't go too slow and you don't, you know. You don't let too many enemies live. And I think in that, that way the strand really isn't optimal. Because we don't have that big place for a breach to expand. Which means we lose uh, room for monsters to spawn. I mean, they don't spawn in walls or outside of boundaries. But still, again, I'm trying to go slow, which is really difficult with the setup, not killing them quickly, letting them converge. Which is good so far, we're doing well. Okay, let's see here. And again, same situation. Create the highest possible density around me. Don't attack. Now you've got Kosas that are breathing down my neck. That's a big boy boss. But it shouldn't matter too much. Run. 
Alright, we got Exine. What do we have here? Arcane Surge Support, 2120. That is money. I think that's a potent exalt right there. That's good. It's a good drop. It's good. So we have uh, Kazia there, the Blight. Now the question becomes, can we get a second Kazia? Which statistically is a 20% chance of that. And again, right, we keep moving, we don't stop moving. We want to create a situation, there you go. Now it's popping off. That is good. Okay, open the breach. Don't kill him right away. Nice and easy. So far smooth. I must say the idea of hitting Strand wasn't a bad one because it does seem that we can spread out those loot piles a bit better. But what I don't like about it is that these breaches are spawning close to a wall and what you get when that happens is that 50% of the possible monster density is gone it, it, you, you lose that now this is a good breach position right here but we have that throat walker and you don't want to get into a situation where you open a breach and you get ran all over the place so again we go easy here moving so fast caused us to accidentally trigger one of these what's it called uh, the buses and that's fine i think shouldn't be too much of an issue sixteen loot already going up quickly nice Yeah, it's really narrow, and when you when you create one of these breaches in a narrow spot, I mean, this is the reason I stopped doing burial chambers. I know the, there is the doctor there, right? That's a divination card, like 12, 13, act something. But to me, it just rarely got like good results for the breaches because they spawned inside that medium part of the map, and that just isn't good. Right? That that won't get you what you want. Might as well pick these up right away. You don't have to go in here again. No, strand. It, it's not. It's not particularly bigger. It's, um, but it, it's longer. So that means that you might be safer doing maps like these because chances of a lot of loot being um, condensed into a small stretch is a little is a little less. It becomes a little safer to run these. The downside, of course, is that you're gonna have less loot. I think. But again, that's something I need to test, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, of course, you don't hope for less loot, but you never know. Now, with the other one, we barely made 20 loot. Um, a lot of the loot count is really dependent on what happens with the blight encounter. If you get a three-row blight encounter, you, you kind of... That's not good. You, if you get an eight or ten row... That might actually be 20 loot still, even though the map itself isn't as good. It's one of those things that's hard to tell. Up front. I'm just gonna do these now one by one. It looks, yeah, it, it looks a lot smoother, I agree. Way smoother. And we are close to 18 loot, so even if you get 19, but you have a lot less issues running the map, and you have comparable loot, that's a 5% loss. But it might actually give you a 20 or 25 percent faster run right so then at that point you start thinking loot an hour and in those terms this map might beat out any other map but it's not done yet still have to see exactly yeah that, that is a big fear with these maps And I know there's a lot of people that think, you know, they're, they're gonna watch this on YouTube later on and like, oh boy, I hate him for saying that. But I always think, you know, you haven't pushed 
hard enough, if you haven't at least crashed the game once or twice, you know what I mean? You, you just... Yeah, that's when you know you have a build that that's just too much to handle in, in so many ways. Oh! Wow! That's... Not good. That's a first. Not really sure what happened there. That could have been a nullifier. We'll never know. Surprising. Like I said in so many videos, not impossible. It does happen, but damn. I think I know what happened there. I re-rolled my flasks. And I rewilled them to when charges reach full, because I was experimenting with a fourth additional flask. I think I might have been in between flasks. Now the advantage of hindsight is always 2020, so I will be looking back at this at some point, at this video, and find out what happened there. That has to be what was going on there. I mean, that's not good though. You don't want to die inside an alpha, alpha being a big loot contributor to the maps, that's... yeah, that's not good. And that automatically means 20 is going to be impossible, I think we're going to be stuck at 19, unless it's one hell of a blight. Then again, I haven't felt any real fear of crashes yet, so I'm still happy with the result of this map. That puts us at 19 loot. So now we get that condensed situation again, right? Where the Abyss goes into a situation where there's already a lot of loot on the spot. But I have a feeling that is way more smooth because of how the loot gets drawn out. And for some reason it also helps the DPS with the spark. So if you don't have the DPS that I have, I would suggest you do a map like this where your spark can hit uh, multiple times easier. Yeah, it's much faster. This seems to be a much faster map clear, I agree. I mean, it's a bit subjective. And um, hold on, we might still hit 20. We have two breaches left. We have one Kazia left. And I think there's an Alva here. Oh. Dude, are we still gonna hit 20? Because if we are, then this might actually be a good farming strategy. Even though those, those... Um, what's it called? Uh, those breaches and the placement might be suboptimal. There is something to this map, it seems. So I feel there may still be a 20 in this. I mean, considering the fact that I've never hit 21, in terms of using it as a farming strategy, this might be the way to go. Then. then we have another breach, another breach, and Kazia. Dude, this will be an easy 20. And I agree with you, safer, faster, more smooth, will probably be easier to loot as well because you don't have to go all over the place. It's a pretty straightforward looting track. And it is a six row on the, what's it called here, on the, uh, yes, yeah, which is good as well. I think we'll be fine. It's 
much more easy to defend because when you create a situation with an insane amount of density, there's your twally. Dude, that loot is going up quick. Where is it me? That seems to be going up fast. Strand, huh? Who'd have thought? Jesus Christ. 49 simulacrum splinters. Dude, that is going up quick. Welcome, Ankill. How are you doing, buddy? Ankill, this is Kanan. Our new buddy. Ankin is also playing the build. I hope it updates though. This guy's been working so hard to make it better and for some reason the rankings haven't updated for like 60 hours on him, which is pretty bad. I'm not sure what's going on there. 20.7! Dude, that's a 1 Elva 20.7. I think Strand is, is the thing to do here. And that is, I know I sound surprised, but that's only because I'm surprised. And I've fucked up one of those Alvars as well. There is still an Alva left, but trust me, that won't get you to 20. And a Breach. Uh, and a... Dude, are we going to hit 21? On a map that I deemed inferior? Is it possible? There's another breach there. And two more abysses. Nico gonna hit 21. What the hell happened? Dude, it's gonna hit. Dude, this wasn't the plan. The plan was to use it as a grand finale. Even with the dead, we're gonna hit we're gonna hit that. Dude, what the Oh, and kill. There you go, there's your answer. 21. Oh my god. I mean, it's it's impossible not to hit it with those two uh, abysses left. It's, it's gonna happen. The first 21. I'm not sure if it's the first 21 on stream, but like I said before, if somebody did it, I haven't seen or heard about it. And this will be it. It's happening on a test map. Not even, not even trying. This is just a test map. Here we go. Twenty-one incoming. Holy shit, boys! We did it. Here we go. Twenty-one loot, dude. Wow, that's amazing. Dude, we have another breach and two abysses. 22 loot? Well, thank you very much, dude. I know we've only just met, but you can ask Ankel that's in the chat how long I've been massing around trying to hit that. I'm, I'm fucking excited. That's great. What the hell? And that's a one Casia map. Uh, well, uh, we both know what comes after 21. And we both know, you know, especially when you get to know me a little bit, that I'm seeing an ability to hit 22 and I will most definitely fight to hit 22. <laughs> so that's what's up next. But damn! Are you there, Ankill? Oh, he's been with me, and I think he's, he's like, I don't know. He probably went to the toilet or something. If, oh, there he is. Dude, 21. We did it. That's amazing. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Did you did you drink enough water today? Dude, 21 point. Dude, what the? F well, it's it's a personal record, at least. Wow. Oh my god, 21 loot broken. This was pretty much the only objective for me before I started really min-maxing this build. Can we hit 21 loot? And now in one of the three maps that isn't even optimal, we are hitting 21 and a half and then some. Holy hell guys. That's it. It's over. So much for can we.